how we're going to do your stuff for tomorrow. So this is gonna be pretty quick. Washes are quick. The, actually, the, the longest part of this project is the waiting. Because you know when you do watercolors, right? you have to kind of let it wait in between steps so it dries before you do the next thing. And that's sort of the thing when, as a watercolor artist, there's a lot of like, do something, let it dry, build a layer, let it dry. And we'll be doing some of that this week. So, washes, here we go. I'm going to, for my sky, I'm gonna do what's called a wet on wet wash. That means wet paint, wet paper. And so I'm just painting water right around all over my sky. I can paint right over top of my trees because we have protected that paper. And then I'm going to um, start adding some color. I want mine to be kind of like a sunset sort of situation. So the difference between this paper and the paper that you used um, for your name drawing that we, even though we painted it, this is specialized paper. And what it's gonna do is hold the paint and like water on top of it and not soak in so fast. So, let's see, maybe some of this pinkier color. So this is a wet on wet wash. I use this when I want my colors to blend together, which is why I like it for a sky because I want my sky to look like it's a sunset or a sunrise or something like that. And I'm letting some areas stay uh, just like the white paper showing through because that'll be, look kind of like lighter clouds. But you can see how my colors start to blend together. That's what I'm really going for here. So that's one kind of wash. The other is called a wet on dry wash. Wet paper, or no, wet paint, dry paper. Most watercolor terms are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so, wet on dry. I'm gonna decide what color I want my ground to be. I think I want this to be sort of like a late autumn situation. And so what I'm doing is just painting directly on my paper. What you really want to keep things fairly light because we want to paint more stuff over top of this on Wednesday. Like maybe some of those kind of cool background trees, things like that. So this is a pretty quick process. If my ground and my sky blend together, that is okay. I'm going to bring in some warmer colors here to kind of give the illusion of maybe there being leaves down. And like for real, that's it. Um, it's 